Hi there, my name is David, and this is Torah Tech Tips. Welcome to the first ever Torah Tech Tips. My name is David Paskin, otherwise known as Rabbi David. And you know, our world has changed so much in the past six, seven months. Ever since March, Jewish communities, rabbis, cantors, educators have transformed the way they teach, the way they inspire, and they've used technology to do it. And so I've spent a lot of time focusing and learning about the different tools that we might want to use to help our technology help us connect and teach and inspire. So I decided to start Torah Tech Tips as a way for me to share some of what I've learned about how technology can inform the way that I present myself, the way that I share my Torah. I'm hoping to do this once a week, and each week I want to share with you one tech tip that you might have to pay for, and one tech tip that is completely free. So let's start with the tech tip that you might have to pay for. This is called the Elgato Stream Deck. The Elgato Stream Deck is a small little device. In fact, I can, I can show it to you here. This is my Elgato Stream Deck right here. It actually comes in three different sizes. There's a mini, there's a regular, and then there's a mega version. And it's basically just a set of tiny LCD buttons that you can program and use to change what's happening on the screen when you're teaching or leading. So for example, if I press this button, that disappears. If I press it again, it'll come back. I can um, turn off the lower uh, icons that I have there and then turn them back on. Now, the way I'm doing that is not just in Zoom. I'm using a different program called Ecamm Live, which we'll talk about another time. But you can also use this just in Zoom, and I want to show you how. So I'm going to share my screen with you. This is the software that you use to control and to set up your Elgato Stream Deck. So I have this installed on my computer. I'm running a Mac Mini, but you can use any computer, really. Not a Chromebook, though. And uh, you can see that it sort of recreates your Stream Deck um, along with, along the side there, a number of options. So I'm going to go up to the Zoom option here at the top right. You have to install the Zoom option, but it's really, really easy to do. And if I want to program one of my buttons to do something, I could just drag it over. So let's say I want to have a button that allows me to mute and unmute myself on Zoom. There you go. Now I just press that, and it shows up, by the way, immediately on my Stream Deck. So if I show you here, well, you can't see it very well, but on my Stream Deck, there's now a button that says Mute and Unmute. And if I press that, it'll mute me on Zoom. Um, there are other things that I can do. I can actually use system, um, uh, change system uh, um, functionality just by pressing a button on my Elgato Stream Deck. Basically, anything that you can create a hotkey for, which means, you know, Command S, or uh, we all know um, Control V or Control C for copy and paste. Anything that you can, any program that uses hotkeys, you can put those into your stream, Elgato Stream Deck so that with one button press, you can really control what you're showing and what people are seeing. So for example, if I press that button there, it'll bring me right back here so that I can see you and you can see me. I can press another button and bring me right back to my screen share. I can turn off my little picture in picture. It makes it so much easier. Now the truth is, is that you don't need a Stream Deck to do all this stuff, right? You can mute everyone, you can mute yourself, you can turn on and off your camera, you can do all of that right from within Zoom. I found that fiddling around with my mouse to find the little button is, sometimes distracting. And so using the Elgato Stream Deck makes it so much easier. My fingers have basically learned where the buttons are and I can just press them and I know exactly what's gonna happen. So that's the Elgato Stream Deck. They come in different, uh, again, different sizes, so different prices. They're not too expensive. This one I 
believe was about $120, something like that. I could be wrong on that. But you can find them at Best Buy. You can find them on Amazon. They're really fantastic, the Elgato Stream Deck. Now, I promised you not just one tech tip that you might have to pay for, but a free tech tip. So here is your free tech tip of the week. Don't let technology get in the way. Everything that I'm sharing with you, all of the tools that I hope to share with you in the coming weeks and months are fantastic. The Elgato Stream Deck is wonderful unless it gets in the way of why you're using the technology. We're here as rabbis, cantors, teachers, lay leaders. We're here to inspire. We're here to teach. We're here to share Torah. And all of these tools can be wonderful aids in helping us accomplish that in more seamless, more exciting, more innovative ways. But sometimes they can also get in the way. And so it's important to remember whenever you're using technology, it should only be there to help you. It should never get in the way. And as soon as it does, that's probably a clue that you should maybe not use that particular tool. So this week you got the Elgato Stream Deck and a reminder to never let technology get in the way. I hope that you join me each week at facebook.com slash Torah Tech Tips so that we can learn together about how we can use tech to make our Torah even more powerful. Now I'm gonna press another button on my Elgato Stream Deck as I say goodbye.